Now, we will um, go right ahead into our first topic for the day and it addresses something very interesting right here that happened right here in Ghana. The presiding bishop of Lighthouse Chapel International, Dag Heward Mills, recently expressed his view on oral sex, hey. saying, hmm, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. According to him, there's no law which debars men from kissing any part of their partner's body. He said, and I quote, I don't think there's anything wrong with oral sex because there's no red flag on any part of the body. Which law states that this place is not good? You can kiss here, but you cannot lick here because <laughs> kissing is licking. Okay, this That's is what he actually darling. said. I'm getting excited. All right, now he said. <laughs> lick it, lick it, lick it. <laughs> Bishop Hewitt Mills uh, was addressing church members and basically he could not fathom why couples restrict areas they touch during foreplay when in fact other places can also contribute to make sex more enjoyable. He continues to say and I quote, why can't you kiss your wife's vulva and why can't your wife also kiss your penis? Um, why can't she hold it? It's nice. Mm -hmm. Now he blamed... End of quote, by the way. He blamed the stereotype, especially among Christians, on religious re restrictions which prevent individuals from having exciting sex. Now, you should see the ladies' reactions on the show. What are y'all so excited about? Uh, penis and like vulva, vulva, vulva penis. penis. Yeah, but why yeah. do we Touch have it, to hold talk it, about lick it? it. <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 it's great that Doug Hewitt Mills would actually speak like this because for a long time, Christianity has demonized sex, made it look like a dirty thing. Thing. And I feel sex lovemaking is the one, one great act of love that was created for human beings, you know. And because of that, I mean, there are a lot of people who will become hypocritical about sex because it's been made to look like a dirty thing. And where do all those rules come? Oh, you can't touch here. This is the limits. Yeah. Blah blah blah. You know, all of that. There was, there's a story online about a girl who was. From, uh, from infancy, told Christian uh, kind of lifestyle, sex is an evil thing, she gets married, and now she doesn't know how to have it. Like, she doesn't enjoy it because she still sees it as a dirty thing. Yes. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So for him to speak like this, Charlie, kudos. Yeah, and he, I have not liked him in the past for some certain comments yeah. about girls and apples, but this... <laughs> He's done really good. Yeah, I'm sure you And say that. as he yeah. says, there's no way in the Bible at all that states that um, oral sex shouldn't happen between married couples. But the only thing that I was uncomfortable with was when he said that there's nothing wrong with having sexual intercourse with your wife when she's on her period. Just <sighs> use a condom. I mean, I, I, I was a little bit... It's personal. It's, it, it, it depends that's, on you. That's a little... I, I felt like he crossed the line a little bit. No, no, it's good. You know why? I don't think he should...